Hello everyone and welcome to task 8 of our SQL injection uh, video series. So in today's task, uh, we're going to work on a lab based on uh, blind SQL injection and that's going to be a time-based blind SQL injection. It's kind of similar to the boolean based but this time around there's no visual indication whether the query was wrong or right or was wrong or not okay so you're not gonna have the benefit of uh, how successful or not the query was executed so in this case uh, you're gonna use a method a sleep method to check the behavior of the web application whether um, when you ask it to sleep for a number of seconds it's actually sleep for that number of seconds so that's what you're gonna you to determine whether your queries are being run or not so without much i say let's delve into the lab and study the practical the practical um yeah so in this lab we have we have our mock browser at the top here we can see that uh, it has a url and then a referral parameter so the referral parameter is taking something like a domain or a subdomain and then uh, we can take this out and just put an apostrophe to see uh, if we'll get an error message so we have a message here showing that our application or url is vulnerable to sql injection so um, what we do is we just start just like the previous tags with our union select statement so we say union select one and let's see what we have so we are giving uh, the results as um, the columns so when you get a message like this it means you are not putting the right number of columns so let's change that to two and then the message disappears so it means we have two columns that's the right number of columns that we are dealing with uh, so we're gonna use sleep to check the behavior of the web app so let's say it should sleep for five seconds if this executes it means we are on the right track and we can see that it's taking a bit of time so yeah it comes back so it slept for five seconds and then we can use this particular behavior to enumerate the name of the um, database so we can see where database database which you see we, we use the database method where database like and then we put a wildcard here so when i say the database we have to enumerate it character by character so we can start with a and see whether the, the, whether the database name starts with an a and it didn't execute that's why it came back to early so if it executes it's supposed to take five seconds so if it takes five seconds to execute it means uh, our data our enumeration is actually correct so let's see we are saying the database name starts with a it doesn't start with a let's try b it doesn't start with b so let's go to s and c so with the letter s you can see that it's taking a bit of time and it came back as a request time it took five seconds for our query to be executed so it means our database name actually starts with an s and from the previous uh, task uh, the database name started with something like sqli and i assume this one is also going to be following the same format so sqli underscore she likes taking time also so it means this is the correct part of the database name and the previous uh, task the name is always sqli underscore the level of the lab so this is level four so i assume this one is also going to be sql i4 so let's see yeah so it's correct so our la our database name is sql i4 we can copy this somewhere keep track keep some notes and then we say db name is sqli4 
all right so we can proceed from here so now we have our database name now we have to look for tables in the database so we have to enumerate the tables in the database so how do we do that so what we do is we say select and then sleep from information schema dot tables where table schema is equal to so the table schema we're gonna put our database name here and table name like so we'll put our wildcard we don't know the table name but we'll start enumerating from a all right so table name we assume that our table name starts with an a we have a table that starts with an a let's see so it's taking time so it actually means that we have a table that starts with an a on the database or in the database so uh, we say a b we don't have a table name that starts with a b a c no and then if we have a n it's taking some time so here just to to save some time we have a table that is named analytics uh, referrers let's see if this is correct yeah so analytics referrers so we see that it's taking some time so we actually have a table name called analytics referrers so uh, table names and then this is our first table that we'll be able to enumerate but that's not the only table we can further go ahead to enumerate to see if we have other tables and to do that because we already have the first table we try to not enumerate this table again so how do we do that so let's let's do this and then we can add a statement and table name uh, not equal to analytic referrers all right so if we go back here and put analytic referrer it's not going to work all right so let's let's try it out you see that it didn't work it's, it's telling us that okay we already enumerated that and want to remove it from our enumeration all right so it's sort of analytic referral what is it uh, they like yeah so this part uh, we can try for a it doesn't work b it doesn't work so let's go to u so if we try u you see that it's taking some time so it means we have another table in the database that starts with uh, u so u the next character a it doesn't work b it doesn't work so let's see s us so yeah we have a, a table name that starts with the letters u and s so we assume if we have u and s we just make an assumption that it might be user or users okay so a table so a table will contain users so let's say users and it's taking time so this tells us that yeah we actually have a table name called users in our database so users so we can remove this and continue enumerating we can have other table names this might not be the only two tables but uh, we are actually interested in a table that contains users and their information so maybe this users table might have usernames and passwords that should be fine to get us through this challenge so we're not going to go further with the enumeration of tables we start we stop here and try to enumerate columns in the users table so let's see how that one will go so we can modify this particular query so let's see so here instead of information schema dot table so we are actually going to look for the information from columns where table name 
actually call to users because now we have a table that we want to reference is equal to users and let's 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 and column name like okay so now we're gonna try to enumerate the column names all right so let's go back to our browser and put this in so it's taking time so it means our statement is properly crafted we just need to enumerate the column names character by character so let's wait for it to finish we come back with the okay yeah, it's taking a bit of time here so it took about 15 seconds to return so let's say our, we have a column name that starts with a let's see we don't have that let's say b we don't have that we can say a column name that starts you know so a, a user's um table we can assume that we have something like a username let's see yes we are making an assumption but you, you can um do character by character enumeration but you know for the benefits or for the sake of time we're just going to assume that in the users table we can have a column name called a username so let's see and this is taking time so it means we actually have a column name user username so this is good so we can say column names so we have username and then we can go ahead and try to enumerate other column names so because we already we have username we can try to see if we can get other column names so we try to eliminate the username column from our uh, fasten or enumeration so we say where column name is not equal to a column name we just identified which is the username okay let's try this okay so yeah it's like our query is executing correctly so what we need to do is just come here and then fast whatever column name that we, we think uh, is in the, in the is in the table all right so we have username we can assume also that um, we can have something like password so let's see pass okay so pass is part of the of the word and it seems to be present it seems to be a column so we conclude it as password let's say we have a column named password yeah so this executed all right so we have a column name also password so we have a username and password i think we can have an id too we can check if we have a column name id let's check for id yeah this is also taking time so it means we have another column name id all right so we have id username and password but we're actually interested in the username and password we're not interested in id id may just be used as a kind of a primary key that's not uh, what you're interested in all right so the next thing is we know the column names we have to find the information in those columns so that's what we're going to fast um, enumerate next so let's try to modify this command so now we're going to query information from the users table okay so so we're going to select information from here yeah, the users table where username like all right so now we're trying to enumerate usernames so this is how we do it so let's see if this runs yeah it's taking time so it means our crafted um query 
is correct we just need to enumerate character by character so we are assuming a username that starts with a exists so you see that it's taking time so it means yeah we have a username that starts with a then we go to the next character we go to the next character like a a we don't have a a a b we don't have a b a c we don't have a c let's go to a d and you can see that a d is also taking time to come back so it's sleeping for five seconds here so it means we have a username that starts with a d so we can just assume it's admin and let's see so it's taking time so this is right so we have a username that starts with admin so i will say credentials okay uh, username admin and then password so we have a username we have to now look for a password so we can modify this statement again where username now we know the username is admin and password like so we're gonna fast the password all right we'll put a wildcard in here and then we go back to our browser pop it in let's see if we can fast or enumerate the password for the user admin all right so if we click if we enter try to execute and then yeah our sleep command is executing so it means we should be able to enumerate the password character by character and then for this particular lab the passwords are always uh, integers so we try to start enumerating with integers we forget about the alphabet all right so we we'll start with one one does it doesn't start with one two two doesn't work three doesn't work four so four is taking time so it means our password starts with four that's good then we move to the next character four one four two doesn't work four three doesn't work four 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 five four six four seven four eight four nine okay so it's taking time again so it's like we have our password starts with four nine and then we go to the next character the third character four nine one four nine two four nine three four nine four four nine five four nine six okay so we'll be able to enumerate the third character which is four which is six all right so we'll go to the fourth and last character we we'll start with one and yeah it seems to be one all right so that's it we've been able to enumerate the password which is four nine six one all right so yeah we have our username enumerated as admin and then password four nine six one so if this is right we should be able to get uh, past this login page okay so training complete so our username and password admiration was done properly so that should be the end of this video thank you so much and then i'll see you again in tax nine